and always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Tuesday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronald Ray S. Martinez, SVD, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Padre Pio will now begin. Please rise. praise the Lord and gather in his altar to worship his name. Come, let us pray. Let us open our hearts to receive his blessings and to feel his love. Let us kneel down and thank him for all that he's done for all of the blessings in our lives. Come, let us sing, let us praise the Lord, and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, welcome to our Holy Mass. The Lord loves you. That's the verse written in the Psalm for today. God loves His people. And He is ready to bring them to victory. So in this Holy Mass, we ask the Lord to lift us up from our poverty and lead us to our victory. Victory over fears, victory over sickness, victory over despair, and victory over selfishness. May His grace rule our hearts and the lives of many. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves in this holy celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. You were healed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rule, reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can any one of you, with a case against another, dare to bring it to the unjust for judgment, instead of to the holy ones? Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world? If the world is to be judged by you, 
Are you unqualified for the lowest law courts? Do you not know that we will judge angels? Then why not everyday matters? If therefore you have courts for everyday matters, do you sit as judges, people of no standing in the church? I say this to shame you. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? But rather, brother goes to court against brother, and that before unbelievers. Now indeed, then it is, in any case, a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat, and this to brothers. Do you not know that the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor robbers, will inherit the kingdom of God. That is what some of you used to be. But now you have had yourselves was, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Spirit of our God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according, according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself and from them he chose 12, whom he also named Apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, 
Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon was called a Silot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their disease. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Day Season Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Sa mga wala po sa Quezon City, kaninang alas 4, malakas yung ulan dito sa Christ the King. I hope you are doing okay. Dalawang ati pag-uusapan. Una yung about God's love. Alam niyo po pala, three weeks ago, ay, two weeks ago, nanood ako ng musical play. Ang title ay Mula sa Buwan. Wala saan akong interest panoorin yon. Nagkataon lang, two months ago, nabasa ko yung kanyang advertisement. Yung kanilang come on pang attract para manood ka. Sabi ng advertisement, kung ikaw ba isa sa mga sugatan sa mga isa sa mga sugatan, you feel misfit in the world, you feel like a fool, a dreamer, blooded, then this musical is for you. Sino ba naman hindi mapapabili? So I, I was interested, pinuntahan ko it, sa Samsung Chatter, believe me or not, punong-puno ang Chatter. And all their shows for three weeks I sold out. At ang karamihan na nood on ay from 18 years old to 35 years old. Mga kabataan. At saka, what this tells us, many felt out of place in the world. Many felt out of place. Many felt unloved. That's why after ng play, tayuan yung mga tao at nagpalakpakan. But kung wala kang hindi ka duguan sa buhay, please don't watch that play. It will not make sense to you. But kung may pinagdadaanan ka, watch that play and it will make sense to you. You will find a place. But mga kapatid, come to Jesus. You'll find a place. Come to God for He loves you. In God's presence, there's always a place in the heart of God. Yun po ang message sa atin ngayon. That's why to all of us here who felt so unloved and not lovable, please be assured someone knows you. Doon kasi sa play, yung main character doon, mahabang kanyang ilong kasi marami siyang lies sa buhay niya. Lies. Kasi matalino sana siya, but he hated himself kasi pangit siya. Abertulo, yung minamahal niyang babae, di niya maligawan kasi ayaw niya from the very start just to be rejected. So, mga kapatid, you may feel unloved or not lovable, but in the eyes of God, you are lovable. You are lovable. Whoever you are, whatever your background is, you are acceptable. You are not a misfit. Please don't tell it to yourself. And the love of God would like to start inside your heart to bless your heart with light with peace and healing grace. Pangalawa naman, yung second point naman, yung sa gospel. Nagpili si Jesus na kanyang mga apostles. Selection process na ito eh. Sabi doon, among the disciples, He chose 12 apostles. Ang pinagkaiba ng, what is disciples? If you're disciple, meaning, you are a learner. At pag apostle ka na, you are now going to be sent or commission, ipapadala ka na. Pero sabi sa gospel, Jesus was able to select properly only after a night of prayer. Pinagdasal niya muna. So magandang paala sa atin dito, kung may mga maganda kayong desisyon sa buhay, bago niyo i-execute 
idaan nyo muna sa panalangin. Huwag na huwag yung kakalimutan na sa pag, in the process of decision making, ikonsulta muna nyo ang Panginoong Diyos para yung thoughts ninyo, yung feelings ninyo will first be enlightened, will be guided. Pangalawa, kasi kailangan natin talaga ang guidance ng Panginoong Diyos para ang decision natin will not be done out of haste, hindi nagmamadali, so that it will not be a waste later on. And para yung decision natin, hindi na po galing sa bugso ng damdamin. Maraming mga salitang nakapanakit sa puso ng iba because yung nagsalita, di man lamang pinandaan sa pagdarasal, bigla lang nilabas na parang tambutyo yung mamasakit na salita. Please friends, please don't intentionally hurt other people. The world has so much of it and many are in pain. Do not anymore, please don't add people to the number of the misfit. Instead, please add more people to the number of those who are fit in the heart of God. Uh, bakit natin kailangan magdasal araw-araw? Kasi allow me to tell you the story, yung kwento ng isang speaker. Sabi niya, di niyo ba nalata daw yung mga wild grass, di mo na kailangan itanim, sadyang tumutubo, sumusulpot kahit saan-saan. Yung mga wild grass, dito lang ng Bermuda, ng Carabao grass, bibilihin mo pa para maitanim at aalagaan. Samantala, yung mga wild grass, susulpot talaga sa mga halamanan ninyo. Ganon din ang negative thinking, fear, anxiety, kahit hindi mo imbitahan, sometimes you will not, you will realize para ka ng eroplano, nilipad ka ng negative thinking. Di ba, nalata nyo ba yung parang wild grass? Kaya kailangan nyo magdasal araw-araw para hindi kayo tubuan lagi ng wild grass sa isip ninyo. Sayang na ma'am. To close his homily, naala ko yung nakausap ko. Sabi niya, alam mo father, yung mga opisina ko, ang iba kasi dito, di gaano nagsisimba, di pala dasal. Kaya alam niyo naman, di ba sa opisina, iba-iba ang ugali. Minsan yung opisina mo, may masabi mas masakit sa'yo, nag-away-away kayo. Ay, bang ka-opisina ko, father, one week na, kumukulo pa ang dugo sa ka-opisina ko. Kasi iba-iba kong gali nga, di ba? What can you do? <laughs> Kaya sabi niya, ang paalala dyan sa kanyang mga opisina magdasal kasi kayo. Kasi yung kinagalitan yung tao, natutulog ng mataimtim. Kayo, gising magdamag sa galit. Because you did not consulted through prayer. Prayer will calm you down because the grace of God will calm you down. So that's all. God bless everyone. God bless all of you. Magsitayo po tayo. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. For every prayer, your response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through the Pope and Bishops, may lead us to the fullness of Christian life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That statesmen may guide our nation to the future stability and development of our nation. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and difficulties. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the most vulnerable in the population, our dear senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, and the poor, that they may be protected from contracting the virus. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, 
In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the let lord. us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord, through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty, rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Oh, 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, I pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Friends, we are God's lovable people. From the very start, nobody should feel misfit in this world because God has got us at the palm of His hand. 
Now let us share to one another this peace to affirm our lovableness to one another. Peace be with you. Peace to everyone. Those in the online, peace to all of you. Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray.
Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinademitz, pray for us. Upo muna kayo sa mga nagsimba dito sa shrine. Baka pagpasok nyo ng guardhouse, may narinig ka kayo kanina ng mga drums. Para saan yon? Kasi po pala, parang intramural days namin ngayon sa Christ the King. Kasi sa September 8 ay kapistahan ng aming congregation. By the way, sa September 8 po pala ay birthday din ni Mother Mary. Pero yan din aming foundation day. Ika 147th year of foundation. Ang aming founder ay si St. Arnold Johnson. So ang Misa on Wednesday, Thursday, same time pa rin, 6.30 sa umaga, at yung seminary celebration ay 9 a.m. At sa kasahapon, 6 p.m. Hindi ko pa sure kung baka may 12.15 na Misa yet to be announced. But just to inform you, on Thursday will be a big celebration for our church the bird of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's all. Thank you for being with us for today. Please rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Bye.
life eternal, oh, what wonders, crowd on faith, what joy unknown, when amid earth's closing thunders, saints shall stand before the throne. Oh, to enter that bright portal, see that glow 